What's up, YouTube? I guess I'll make this video. Today we are going to basically go over a rundown of the truck, what's all done to it, what I've, where it came from, how I bought it, and yeah, I definitely, I wanna start vlogging. I wanna start making more content, obviously about this truck right here, and just everyday life. So, this truck is a 2015.5 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It is a four-wheel drive. I bought it in February of this year, so February of 2023. Um, I bought it... When I bought it, it definitely didn't look like this. I'll drop a picture of how it looked right now. But yeah, this is how it looked when I first bought it. Um, obviously, a lot has changed. If you're not really a truck person, you really don't know. But if you are, you definitely know a lot, a lot has changed. So back to the truck. Um, I guess we'll start from the basic stuff. It's on a six and a half inch BDS suspensions lift kit. There. It is on 2014, 24 by 14 Archon Mandela's, I believe with 36, 14, five, um, 24 versus tire MXTs. Oh, rides pretty good with how it is. A little bit of balancing issues with the truck, but that's it, as expected with a cheaper tire, I guess. Um, let's go around lighting. I have 16 custom, customs unlimited rock lights. They are fully plug and play. They all go into one module and they all run off one switch. Uh, I have Ustado Parts Lumastep M1 running boards. Got a tow pig going by. Yes, sir. But these are the fully switchback running boards, white running light, and they switch back to a sequential orange. I have Ustado Part. Um, mirror lights they are also sequential switchback coming back here i these trucks come factory with the orange turn signal right there two of them so i did all the work um well me and my boy cody did a lot of the work on these i also switched out the terrible factory projector with um more moto dtus 5.0 chris quality hid system oh uh, let's see going back to the truck headlights built by me i have some cheap amazon special fog lights in there going to the rear these are ltz style tail lights they originally did not come with these tail lights these are um i bought these off amazon they're made by depot depot however much you want to call them but i like them they are definitely better than the halogen ones these are Going down here, these are Amazon license plate lights. Pretty bright. Coming around to the other side, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it for exterior mods. I guess some stickers here and there. It does come with the Fox 2.0 shocks and the full kryptonite suspension. Let's pan the camera. Tie rods. Um, pretty much the whole nine yards. So the steering is crisp. It has a Thunderstruck bumpers, full bumper replacement. I've had one on my old truck and I love them. They're nice. It has a seven inch TSO Freedom hood stack. Oh, I got it dirty, no, I just washed it. Anywho, seven inch TSO Freedom hood stack has a American flag bullet antenna. No cab lights. I definitely want cab lights. That's the next modification. Right? Yeah. Cab lights next? Yeah. I was looking at some switchback cab lights, but I don't know if that's too much. But yeah, all the lighting switchback. Let me hit the button real quick to show you how it goes. Pretty nice, right? All right, let's see. Moving around. Yeah, four inch blocks in the rear. Fox 2.0 shocks. I still have the factory exhaust in there because I'm too lazy to take it out. Um, In the bed, just a tractor supply co. 
toolbox and a gooseneck hitch that's bolted in and cut into the bed. Factory third brake light, nothing too fancy. Oh, let's see, once all this traffic goes by, traffic's going crazy right now. Yeah, we're on a random country road out here. Just filming, cause I was trying to get away from all the hectic stuff, but it found us out here, so yeah. All right, now that traffic's moved on, there's a doggy. All right, now that traffic's moved on, I guess we can move on into the inside. Stickers. This is a AutoTech Pro 14.4 um, inch 2K Quad HD screen. It has CarPlay. You can do all this fun stuff. You can go watch YouTube while you're driving, Netflix, Hulu, play games. Go to the tuning aspect of it. Which is pretty cool. Um, it's completely plug and play. There's harnesses for everything. Obviously the factory two-tone interior. It does have a sunroof in here. Um, lane assist, parking sensors, pretty much the whole nine yards. Bose audio. Moving to the back, we have two 800 watt, 12 inch SCAR subwoofers in a sealed box underneath. It don't hit as hard as I want, but I guess that's what you get with going with the sealed box. There's a 1200 watt amp under the seat as well. Factory leather, all the fun stuff. Um, Let's see, going on to the performance aspects of it. I know you can see that intercooler piping. It is hood stacked, made by John C. Garage. Um, 64 millimeter Dansdale Turbo, Sportsman CP3. Um, you wanna pop the hood? Yeah. Illusion Cherry. WC Fab high flow kit. Let's see, let's pop this hood. Oh, yeah, there's a the hood stack. Pan this down. Illusion Cherry, Y Bridge, air intake, driver side intercooler piping, passenger side intercooler piping, hood stack. Yeah, this is pretty much it performance wise. No injectors, no built trans, but she pulls pretty well. Um, obviously three inch down pipe or three inch hood stack. It did have a three inch down pipe to a five inch out the side exhaust, but I just took off the end piece and took off the down pipe. But yeah, installed the hood stack ourselves. It's kind of wet there because we washed it, but pretty simple. Just mark it, chalked it, cut it, bolted the hood stack on. Yeah, a lot of this work on the truck was done by me. Pretty proud of it. But yeah, this is basically the truck. This is the truck. Definitely want to do a Starlight headliner. Want to do cab lights. Want to do switchback door handles. Those will look fire. Switchback bow tie up front. But yeah, this is it. Like I said, 16 rock lights. All the boost auto part stuff, LTZ style tail lights, um, six high mods. So I guess six high mod, all six lights come on at the same time. And these being a dual projector headlights, it's really an eight high mod. But let me get around here and let me turn on the high beams for y'all. So hit the high beams. I don't know if you can tell, but that's really bright. So if you look at it, let me pan this gimbal real quick. You have your high beams or you have your low beams. You have your high beams. I have my Amazon pods. Yeah, let me, let me pan the gimbal again. It's kind of slow. It's really bright. It definitely, definitely does make a difference when driving down dark roads or anything. See, crisp cutoff line, pure brightness, cutoff line, brightness but yeah um tuned by easy link i have a switch on the fly hidden under here have my sub over there lighting i never got a switch panel so definitely in the future but yeah follow the instagram bad underscore lml definitely gonna throw some more stickers on the rear but this is it
stay tuned for more videos. Got a truck meet upcoming this Saturday. So yeah, peace.